Welcome to my Salvation Army haul. Now, I have been looking for some items, specific items, and, well, I checked one box today. The other two items I purchased, other three items actually, you know, their wants, not needs. So, the first item I have is this Kilner, I guess it's a honey pot. Now, I'm not sure how much this would retail for, but this was, I'm trying to pull it off, this was 79 cents. So that is a beautiful jar, okay? Absolutely beautiful. You know, I find shopping at Salvation Army, I don't always find wonderful things, okay? I find more wonderful things at Value Village. But Value Village is getting more expensive. So, you know, this if this were at Value Village, it would probably be $2.99 or something. So you can get some really good deals at the Sally Ann. Look at that. It's so beautiful. The next items I purchased are the half pint, or in Canada, we call them the 250 ml mason jars okay there are two different varieties of jars here this could be a bernardin or a golden harvest half pint jar i'm not sure but if i went into the store today this is what i would find for half pint jars it has you know some texture to it but most of it is flat okay the other four jars are the older variety of bernardin there is more texture to these jars and they are slightly taller they have similar designs but there is more texture to them i really like these the reason i'm looking for more half pint jars because i need more mason jars like i need a hole in the head okay but there's a number of things that I want to can in half pints instead of pints. And that would be corn and some varieties of beans. Even carrots I would do in half pints. You know, in my household, when corn is used, there's always a bit left over in the jar that doesn't get used. And that goes for beans such as black beans, for instance. There's always some left. So I would rather just can half pints. Now, I recently canned Fiesta Ranch Pinto beans and that I did for the first time. However, I regularly can chili beans and those sorts of recipes are recipes that I would want to do in a full pint. But things like black beans and corn, no, half pint only. I recently canned black eyed peas in half pints and I'm enjoying them because it is a single serving and it is just perfect. Okay, so let's move on to the next item. Okay, so the next item is a candle snuffer. I don't know if that's what you call it. I owned one of these years ago. This was $1.99. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned, but the mason jars were 49 cents each, okay? So this candle snuffer, was a dollar ninety nine. I think that is a little bit too much money, but you know, there were candle snuffers with hinges. Now I haven't had to use this sort of thing in a long time because typically, this is the type of candle I burn. You know, the flame goes out when you put the lid back on it. However, for something cheaper like this which I purchased at Dollarama, a candle snuffer is useful. So there we go. That is the third item. Now the last item, I don't know if I'm going to use this for some sort of challenge, but is this bamboo box. It was $2.99. Again, if this were at Value Village, 
it would have been more expensive. So this is really interesting because it expands. The pieces come out. So you could modify your, uh, you know, how you store things. Okay, it is broken here somewhat, but you know what, that's a no-brainer, I can fix it. I just thought that was very interesting. And um, I saw it, I walked away, went around the store, came back, picked it up because it was still available. And I will leave some photos of what I saw in the store today. There's a lot of, you know, spring sort of items in terms of color, I should say. And I didn't just photograph things like that. You know, there's this beautiful dresser. Oh my goodness, wow. If I had a truck, my goodness, I would have picked that up. I hope you enjoyed my little haul from the Salvation Army.